had uh, this guy who uh, he was he was an old he he owned a bunch of Dominoes, very successful man you could say. And uh, I was pressure washing his driveway, and he was uh, explaining this to me. And I don't know why, like really stuck with me. This When's was in this? high school. Okay, okay. And and he was like, "Look, man," um, he was kind of talking about this. I like. There are going to be times where it is going to feel like your back is against the wall and you're kind of dead in the water. And the only thing you can do is tighten the belt and just get back to work. Okay. Just get, pick yourself up, tighten your belt, focus in, eat right, do like, do like healthy things and just get back to work and try to be successful the next time. And I don't know if there's anything any strategy that better represents what you got to see out of the LSU baseball team and the New Orleans Pelicans after you have this incredible win where you go to Golden State, you 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 have this unbelievable shooting performance. You bury Steph Curry. You survive the Steph Curry run, the nine and one in their last ten Golden State Warriors. Then you return home against the Lakers and you get your ass kicked once again for the third time this year by the Los Angeles Lakers. I don't know what it is, T-Bob. I don't know what they have mentally over this Pelicans team, but they certainly have it. Whatever it is, because they look completely different when they play the Lakers than when they play, I think, anybody else scared in the NBA. Bro, Lakers are their Debo. There's no doubt. I and mean, they have taken their beach cruiser, and they have walked away with it and dared you to say something. When the thing is, okay, the guy who gets his chain stolen, right? Isn't he a mailman in, in Friday? I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, like a UPS. He an He's like a yeah. UPS guy. That's a solid job. It is a good job. That is a better job than what Debo has. Yeah. Like, by all accounts, that is a person doing life better than Debo. Yeah. But at the end of the day, and even though Debo's not that tight, Debo is the equivalent of the A-seed. He's just out here bullying people, stealing stuff, kind of hanging around the block, right? But, but when you square up, he snatches that chain. And the Pelicans keep getting Debo by LeBron and company, and I'm absolutely sick of it. You let that soft ass AD who disrespected you and spit on you on the way out go and kick your ass. Like, look, 38 year old LeBron drop a triple double. Why are you playing this team small, too? Yeah. 50 to 12 in the paint in the first half, and JV is nowhere to be found. Um, I just, it was, it was so depressing. It was the one high moment was BI hitting the three over 80 to end the first quarter. You're down four. I'm like, oh, maybe you have a chance. And then the second quarter, no, you immediately said, uh, no, you just immediately gave it. You just immediately handed over the chain, handed over the bike, took your licks, and just went home with your tail between your legs. Yeah, everything that you just said is actually factual. And it, that's troublesome because the Lakers aren't going away. Like, you have to find a way. Like, you have to, to do something that was different. And you're right. I was surprised with the lineup and how they rolled out there. I mean, Valanciunas got six, seven minutes, I think, total in the game. And they took advantage of it. And, look, Larry Nance is a great stretch five, and he can do a lot of great things. But I didn't have him playing 30 minutes and Valanciunas playing seven in this game coming in. And, like, that has, like that's going to switch up. It has to switch up next time you play them. Uh, yeah, for those that don't know, uh, so you, you, you get your ass kicked by the Lakers, which again, um, it's not just this game. Uh, remember the in season tournament Pels on a little early season heater, give a little hope you run up against the Lakers and what was it? The semis, I believe there, and you get blown out <sighs> 133 to 89. Ooh, you lost three of four. Every loss has been like double digits. Um, do we, do we know his status of AD? Because he did leave that game limping in the fourth quarter now ad leaves a lot of games it feels like limping he probably just court, was limping because they had a big lead and he didn't feel like playing anymore <laughs> he, he went back in the tunnel and he was selling it i mean he uh, was limping you've now lost six of seven in the smoothie king center i don't know how you're so good on the road but so bad at home and in this loss again you you think it didn't matter you missed out on a chance to win 50 games since the second time in franchise history you missed on a chance to break those home struggles we just referenced. You missed on a chance to guarantee the sixth seed. And you missed on a chance to get that Lakers monkey off your back. And now you got to turn around and play the Lakers again in the Smoothie King Center tomorrow night. You win that and you're in. You lose that. And then you get the winner of Golden State Kings. And I got to be honest, I hate all of that. Lakers have beat your ass. Are you really going to be able to 6 0 the Kings if that's the case? Sure. And a Warriors team that is playing red hot that you had to shoot well. Over fifty percent from three to beat, um, like can, can you do that again? I so I, I it does not feel good 
here on this Monday. And and it's funny, if I thought you were going to lose to Lakers, I maybe thought it would just be because the three-point shooting came back down to earth. And there was an element of that. Because the last two wins, you were 50% you were fifty and over. Like, that's insane. But you still shot 40% from three. You just got dominated, embarrassingly so, down low with the amount of just, it looked so easy for the Lakers to get to the basket yesterday. All right, so B.I. comes back, which, look, I'm not going to say it's a bad thing, but he comes back and he plays 23 minutes in, in this one, and now you're trying to figure out, okay, well, what do we want to do now, right? Because you had a lineup and you were going well, and sometimes like it can be tough. And I'm not saying that you ever turn down getting B.I. and All-Star back, but like getting it back in, in this situation, in this kind of crunch time, like I wonder how much different it's going to look tomorrow night compared to yesterday's game because like you now you have to find out a way to to get Trey Murphy his shots you have to find a way to get some of these players like Jose Alvarado has been playing really well for you down the stretch you got to get them their minutes and not take away from the dynamic of the team like yesterday Valanciunas was the guy that had to take a back seat and remember Larry Nance has been out as well and so he comes back he gets 31 minutes like those that was kind of shocking to me just because of how the Lakers were beating you and because Larry Nance hasn't been there. Now, did you, you know, try to get him some extended minutes once the game got out of hand? Probably so, because you're going to need a Larry Nance, you know, his veteran presence in a playoff run, whatever that looks like, be it, you know, two games, whatever. So yesterday, I wonder how much of the score dictated maybe some of the lineup and how much B.I. would have played if it was a tight game. Would he have gone 34 minutes? And so, like, those are things that I'd be curious about, how they handle the lineup, the substitutions, rolling it out there this next game. 